Number 10. World War II Soldiers' Remains The recovery of the fallen in Eastern Europe is a German nonprofit devoted to uncovering the remains of World War II soldiers. Founded in 1992, the organization's stated mission is to permit a worthy burial of the dead of war and to return them their names. In other words, in addition to finding the bodies of fallen soldiers, the group also does its best to identify who the remains are and where they belong. World War II ended over 75 years ago, but countless soldiers still remain missing. It's not surprising considering the war's estimated military death toll of around 20 million. In the three decades since the nonprofit began its work, volunteers have carried out over 200 searches and have found the remains of more than 7,700 missing soldiers. They don't search for people of any specific nationality. Speaking with Haaretz, the association's chairman Albrecht Lau explained that lives were destroyed and people died needlessly on all sides. By identifying as many fallen soldiers as possible, the organization gives closure to families and helps to convey the cost of war to future generations by treating soldiers as individuals and separating them from the impersonal nature of statistics. The excavations also build friendships and bridges of understanding between people from nations that were once bitter enemies. Number 9. Strange Spinning Space Object While reviewing past data from the Murchison Widefield Array Telescope in Western Australia earlier this year, an undergraduate student named Tyrone O'Doherty noticed an unusually bright object in the Milky Way galaxy about 4,000 light-years from Earth. He didn't think it was anything majorly significant at first, but he was intrigued enough to point it out to his colleagues and professor. Scientists took a closer look at the object and determined that for a three-month period in 2018, it spewed powerful jets of energy for up to a minute at a time every 18 minutes. During these bursts of activity, it was one of the brightest radio objects in the sky. Whenever the object emitted energy, the next brightest thing in the sky was a supermassive black hole located millions of light years away. Astrophysicist Natasha Hurley Walker told ABC Australia that she initially expected it to be something scientists already knew about, like an exploding star or two stars colliding. But the spooky object was neither of those things. Dr. Hurley Walker described it as being there one minute and gone the next, and said nothing does that. That's crazy. According to a recent study, it's probably a phenomenon that researchers have never observed until now, such as the spinning core of a dead star with a powerful magnetic field. It might also help to explain another mysterious occurrence known as fast radio bursts. Number 8. Raining Teeth A man from New Hampshire named Byron Carr was recently tasked with tearing down some storefronts in Concord for his employer, who wanted to revive the old-fashioned look that the buildings had during the 19th century. During the renovations, the man's co-worker came down from removing some old ceiling metal with five old yellow teeth in his hand. It was odd, but he discarded the teeth and went back to ripping up the ceiling. Suddenly, hundreds of teeth rained down on the co-worker. Carr snapped a picture of some of the decaying chompers and posted the story on the Forgotten New Hampshire Facebook page. He wrote that his co-worker was a bit creeped out for a while. When Byron's boss mentioned that there had been a dental office on the building's second floor decades ago, he remembered going there as a child. In fact, one of the many teeth that fell on his fellow crew member could have belonged to Byron, who described the dentist as scary and looked like Alfred Hitchcock's twin. He also said that the dental office was spooky and recalled seeing his tooth fly across the room when the dentist popped it out. Perhaps the dentist had a bad habit of losing control of the teeth he pulled, which would explain why so many of them accumulated over the years. Number 7. Stalker Shrine After being told by a previous renter that there was something strange in the attic of their townhouse, a group of housemates in Melbourne, Australia went up there to investigate. They found a so-called stalker shrine consisting of photos, clothing, band-aids, gum, cigarettes, and other items that were pinned to the wall. There was also a bar of soap and a container filled with red liquid. A TikToker named Matt Martin, who is dating one of the tenants, documented the experience for his followers. He explained in a follow-up video that the renters contacted the real estate agent who had leased the property to them, and the agent reached out to the landlord who bought the property in 2016. According to the owner, workers found a collection of personal belongings from the previous occupant while performing renovations years ago. They informed the landlord, but apparently nothing was done about it. Martin's girlfriend called the police, who were happy to take a report but said that there was nothing they could do if there were no body parts found. The housemates were shaken by the disturbing discovery, but Martin concluded that the weird array of objects was probably the handiwork of a creep with a weird obsession or a strange piece of artwork. He added that the group plans to take this display down and thoroughly clean the house. Number 6. Cryptic Carving A Redditor who goes by the handle N5150 was exploring his girlfriend's attic recently when he spotted a terrifying message etched into the back wall. 
a five-pointed star known as a pentagram which is often associated with satanic worship beneath the name Nick. He posted a photo of the discovery along with the caption, guess what my name is. The bizarre etching was disturbing enough to begin with, but the fact that the man's name is Nick made it even more frightening. His post went viral, receiving over 90,000 upvotes within days. Fellow Redditors were quick to put in their two cents on the matter, with many encouraging Nick to leave his girlfriend's house immediately. One user pointed out that Old Nick is a nickname for the devil, suggesting that there could have been an even darker meaning behind the name's use. Another person theorized that Nick's girlfriend made the carving and encouraged him to get out while he's still alive. Some people took a more rational approach, speculating that the strange scrawling was probably nothing more than the product of teenage boredom. Hopefully, they're right. What do you think? Is the carving a valid cause for concern, or does it seem like the handiwork of a group of kids who had nothing better to do? Let us know in the comments below, but first, be sure to subscribe. Number 5. Backyard Burials while digging a drainage hole for a patio in a family's backyard last year in Hatesbury, England, a work crew discovered human remains. A builder named Robbie Kearney was the first person to notice the skeletons, which he initially assumed were animal bones. But he realized they belonged to humans when he dug deeper and found a skull. The crew immediately stopped working and notified homeowners Matthew and Amelia Jackson, who called the police. A crime scene crew consisting of forensic officers and an archaeologist reported to the property. They counted five skeletons and determined that the remains are probably not recent. In fact, it's believed that they could date as far back as the 5th century, during the early medieval period, but experts think that they're younger than that. Discovered just 300 feet from the 12th century church of St. Peter and St. Paul, the bones are likely from one of the many plague pits that are rumored to exist throughout the town, according to local historian Joe Charlesworth. The graves appear to be Christian and contain the remains of both males and females of varying ages. The bones were sent away for radiocarbon dating to confirm their age and will be respectfully reburied. Plague victims weren't always buried in mass graves, but the practice became common as a way to keep up with the alarming death rates as the disease wiped out as much as half of Europe's population over a four-year period. People died so quickly and in such great numbers that most simply didn't have the luxury of giving their loved ones a proper burial. Number 4. Secret Room Filled With Strange Objects A Welsh couple who recently bought a house at auction began finding weird things shortly after moving in. They discovered a secret room that contained a Bible hanging from a hook, and in the attic they found a suitcase filled with what appeared to be ritual objects, including a wooden cross. There were also items hidden in the walls, including a box, old photos, and mirrors. One picture of a man has holes poked through the eyes, the pair shared footage of their bizarre findings on TikTok and promised to update their followers as they researched to learn more about who used to live at the home. They said that the off-putting finds have made them feel like they made a huge mistake by buying a house at auction. It didn't help that they purchased the property without viewing it in person or checking the paperwork first. It's easy to see in the couple's videos that the house is old and in need of some major repairs. Many of their followers are encouraging them to leave the fixer-upper and find somewhere else to live. Number 3. A Creepy Coincidence After buying a house together in northern Wales last year, Lisa Harrison and Dave Barnes realized that they were living on the same street that Lisa's father was born on 61 years ago in 1961. Her parents came over to help the couple decorate and discovered an even more shocking coincidence. While peeling wallpaper away in the master bedroom, her mother noticed a drawing. It was an outline of a pair of scissors with the names V. Harrison and G. Roberts written on them, along with November 1963. Victor Harrison was Lisa's paternal grandfather. As it turns out, he was the first person to decorate the house with the help of his business partner, Gwen Roberts. Fifty-nine years later, the man's granddaughter bought the same home without any knowledge of the family connection. As spooky as the discovery was, it's also neat to know that the home unintentionally came back into the family. It's almost as if it was meant to be. Whether the couple plans to keep the house in the family for future generations remains to be seen, but even if they don't, perhaps a relative will end up there yet again without knowing its history. Number 2. Deformed Alien Skulls During the 5th century Roman collapse, the empire abruptly abandoned its Pannonian territories in what is now Western Hungary as the conquering Huns invaded Central Europe. Around the same time, foreign groups began traveling to the region and joined the local Romanized settlements, turning the area into a melting pot of sorts. These rapidly changing dynamics resulted in a cultural shift that modern experts are still trying to understand. 
Since 1961, dozens of deformed skulls have been unearthed at an ancient Pannonian cemetery. Out of 96 burials, 51 bore signs of a practice called skull binding, which involves artificially stretching a person's head by tightly wrapping it during childhood, permanently altering it to give it what we think of as an alien-like appearance. The tradition of extreme body modification dates back to the Paleolithic area. It spread across Central Asia during the 2nd century BC and made its way to Europe shortly thereafter, according to a team of experts who spoke with live science about their research on the topic. The graves represent three distinct groups and span three generations that lived from around 430 to 470 AD when the site was abandoned. An analysis of the bones revealed that some of the individuals from the later burials were from the immediate area and lived there under Roman rule, while others migrated there after being displaced from other places. These groups had noticeably different burial customs, yet they all practiced skull binding, reflecting the traditions spread across cultures. They used different techniques, which further indicates that skull binding was one of several cultural practices that were exchanged between the groups as they adjusted to living alongside one another in a shared community. Number 1. Ancient Burial Ground In 2006, a group of kindergartners accidentally dug up bits of human bone on the playground outside their school in southwestern France. Experts took a closer look and realized that the school was built atop a large ancient burial mound dating back thousands of years. Nobody knew just how old the remains were until two years ago when a study determined that the mound, known as Le Tumulus de Sable, is much older than researchers originally thought. The oldest remains are around 5,600 years old. People buried their dead here for a 2,000-year period starting in 3600 BC during the Neolithic era and ending around 1250 BC during the Iron Age. An archaeological team excavated at least 30 bodies, including 20 adults and 10 children, who were buried less than 2 feet in the ground. They also unearthed a plethora of grave goods including broken ceramics, metal, and animal bones. While the researchers made some headway in determining the site's age and how long it was used for, they failed to figure out why it was chosen as a burial site by the prehistoric population that used it. As lead study author Hannah James pointed out, there's nothing outwardly prestigious or significant about it. The site isn't located on a hill or in any other obvious type of place, yet people used it for an incredibly long time, which suggests that it was important to them for some reason. The individuals who were buried there are also a mystery to experts. A dental analysis revealed that most of the deceased were locals who sourced their food from the land instead of fishing in the nearby river or in the Atlantic Ocean. But that's about all that's known about the mysterious prehistoric culture. Thanks for watching. Which one of these discoveries spooked you out the most? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time for another amazing video right here on American Eye.